Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Uh, standard mailbox opening. It's gonna be a bit similar to last week's. Um, I'm gonna split it into two different parts. Uh, this is actually Saturday night that I'm doing this opening, partially because I'm running kind of low on gold and there are some, some things I wanted to make some investments on and some crafts that I need to make. Uh, as you can see here from this task list right here, there's actually more than that. Um, I have a couple others. Uh, I need to buy quite a bit of dredged leather and it's actually a pretty good price right now. Uh, so yeah, there's just a couple things that I've been wanting to buy. So I need the uh, the gold that's been sitting in here. So uh, part two will be Sunday night after I get off work. And I'll basically I'll just open it and run down just at, like I'm about to right now. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. I'm actually pretty impressed with this week. This is by far best week so far by a landside I'm pretty sure like by at least a hundred thousand gold um, I think the most that I pulled was 170,000 that one time um, I think that was like the first week even uh, I'm really not sure what this one's about I don't remember posting anything even below like 10 gold even so this is really like a weird anomaly but anyway, um, this is actually short, about 10,000 gold. I sold a, um, I sold an uncanny cutlass. I'll put that like right here, what I actually made from that. Put like a little uh, cut out of the screenshot right here. Uh, but anyway, let's go over the items of note. Um, drums of the Maelstrom, standard stuff. Uh, this is actually dropped in price quite a bit, so I haven't been selling any more of these really. Uh, couple DC deep sea bags while they were at a decent price highborn compendium of storms inflatable mount shoes satin pants platinum whetstone every time I post one of these these actually sell like pretty much right away um, so I actually want to make a lot of these but they require uh, they require like a, a title core or whatever I, I, the title core is made into I can't remember off the top of my head right now been a long day. Um, satin cloak. These have actually gone up in price and have sold a couple more up ahead, if I remember right. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, comfortable riders barding. These keep going down in price, but it, it's still such a huge profit margin. It doesn't really matter. Even though they're going for like 3,500 right now, the profit margin is still over 3,000. So I'm happy with that. Battle potion of strength. Superior battle, battle potion of strength. Six of blockades. So I actually sold a card surprisingly I any of the cards I've sold um, most of them have been ones that I've picked up randomly to try to flip uh, they're not really a good flip I learned that the hard way but um, I think this is actually like one of my first sales of a card I typically would pick them up for less than like 10 gold a piece so this is a really high profit margin flip but still it's, it's you know it's not gonna make or break anything um, bow, uncanny combatants bow, uh, etched vessel, this is a really good sell right here. These are going for about 15,000 now, but that, even that's still good. This is like amazing, 26,000 for one of them. Spell blade for 10,000, storm silver spurs for 11,000. Uh, I've finally started selling some of these volatile earth. Um, the price isn't going to go back up anytime soon, so I've decided to just sell them. Um, plate waste guard for over 3,000. Sold an enchant. Finally, those didn't really sell either. Sold a bunch of Bald Hell Earth. I think I still have like 70 left though. Uh, a couple more enchants. That's really nice. Another inflatable mount shoes. Portion of Unbridled Fury. These sell a lot. Uh, recently, they've gone down a lot in price again. Things are fluctuating like crazy. Uh, Umber shards. I've been. So when I first started this series, I was <laughs> I was kind of foolish. I didn't really know to save the uh, the blue quality bracers when I was uh, scrapping for expulsum. So for a while, I was just scrapping them. I didn't know about the shuffle. Uh, so I've been doing the shuffle a bit uh, whenever possible and uh, making a little little gold off of that. 
just selling the Ember Shards. That's all I've really been selling. Seven of Squalls. Um, I'm pretty sure that's another one I've purchased. Leather Leggings for almost 5,000. Highborn Compendium of Storms for over 4,000, which is actually surprising. Uh, 10k for a Cutlass. 2.5 for Leather Arm Guards. Just about 6 for Leather Waist Guard. Just about 5 for Leather Leggings. Superior Battle Potion of Intellect, um, making some more of these, quite a bit more of these. Another Spell Blade for just over 9k, uh, Plate Gauntlets for almost 3k, another Highborn Compendium of Sundering for 1.5, Satin Cloak for 6, Satin Belt for 7.5, another Satin Cloak for almost 17,000 gold. So like I said, these actually like jumped up. Uh, because people have been buying a lot of armor. I think a lot of people have kind of been giving up on making a lot of gold, or a lot of people have met their goal for their gold, and they've been leveling a lot, so they've been buying a lot of a lot of armor. Uh, leather waist guard, 6k. Leather treads, almost 5. Un un <laughs> Highborn compendium of sundering again. Uh, plate greaves. I actually have been selling some enchants, surprisingly. I didn't even notice. Uh, another spell blade for almost 9k. Another highborn compendium. Uh, male waist guard, almost 6k. Male leggings for 9. Leather treads for 7.5. Superior battle po potion of strength for over 3k. So 20 of them. Uh, inflatable mount shoes, 12 of them for 18k. War scroll of Valshout. Two saddle shoots. Uncanny Combatant Leather Waste Guard. So yeah, 280k. Uh, 290 including the cutlass that I accidentally uh, opened. So yeah, that's quite a bit. I'm real impressed with it. Uh, that'll put me over the 300k mark. So I'm actually making some decent returns for this week. Um, hopefully that carries over and I perform just as well next week. Um, this weekend I actually plan on doing some transmog runs, finally. Um, I'm actually going to do them. Like I have like a, a Microsoft Word list made. Uh, Zulfarak, uh, Black Fathom, Depths, uh, Scarlet Monastery, a couple others. Pretty standard runs. Um, I have just over 5 mil posted 170 items that will increase as I do some crafting um, there's quite a bit of stuff that I need to that I need to make in uh, leatherworking and blacksmithing not so much with inscription but anyway that's it for this part I'll catch you guys with part two of this tomorrow and see you then. Hey you guys, here we are now. It is Sunday, um, right after I have gotten off work and we're just gonna see um, how much more we got for our, our running total for this week. So let's go ahead and just open it right up. Uh, so another 35,000. <clears> so that's gonna be 325,000. I'll put the total like somewhere around here or something. That's including the 10,000 that I accidentally grabbed from my, uh, like that cutlass that I sold. Oh, and look at there. Sold some more stuff. I wonder how many of those got sold. But anyway, um, I just want to apologize for the last video. I probably shouldn't have even posted it. Um, I was having my doubts, but talked to a couple people about it. They thought I should just post it anyway. Um, I'm not going to take it down or anything, because I mean, it's just part of the journey. Sorry about that, my cats are deciding to go crazy around me. Um, yeah, um, I do apologize for some of the viewers that uh, were expecting a video that was actually on topic. Um, but it is what it is. Thanks again for watching. Um, please leave a like on the video, helps the channel get noticed. This definitely was a lot more... <clears throat> motivating than I thought it was going to be. I, I was not expecting the amount uh, that I got from this week.
so maybe that's a sign that I should just keep on doing this for a little bit and see how it goes. Uh, maybe I was just expecting results far sooner than they actually might happen. I don't know, but uh, leave a comment down below with what you thought about the video, um, suggestions for future content, things I could be doing that I'm not doing, uh, pretty much anything. Just leave it in a comment down below for me. It helps me out a lot. Um, hit subscribe and the bell notification icon if you want to see more content. And as always, stay ridiculous, my friends.